Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back playing some Wizard 101. I got 11 hours left on this broom, so I want to use as much of it as possible. Uh, so I think we're going to go with a giant problem first. And we'll, uh, we'll go in there. Got some lumbering trolls. Uh, so yeah, I think it was, if I go back to review dialogues, kind of a kid on Cyclops, so you should talk to him, sounds like he's trouble he's dealing with the giants there, and he has, has been asking us to send students. So last time we beat, uh, Lady Black Hope, and we did that, so, we'll see what happens here. What are you doing here? Only talented wizards like me should be out of out on these dangerous streets. Think you have what it takes? This place needs real heroes. We'll see if you can make the grade. Why am I why why am I making his voice like that? Let's see how useful you are. Professor Drake put me in charge of a very important mission. Uh, magical artifacts from the old death school have resurfaced. I've decided you're going to recover the one inside the spooky dark cave. Uh, every other student I've asked has been too afraid to go, so I'm hoping for better from you. Battle everything in the dark cave until you find the rune skull. Why why am I making his voice like that? I don't know, dude. Who knows, man? I surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> I just start doing a voice and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll roll with it. Alright. I think we have to defeat haunted minions once we get inside here. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's any undead. Ooh. That's an interesting looking pet. Spellrit Screamer. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Alright, let us fight the haunted mignon. We'll throw a fire blade and then uh, we'll do fire elf. Because why not? Just take a drink. I've never faced this uh, uh, creature before, so I'll keep this battle in the video. I can't remember if this is a hard quest to finish. Considering I did not collect it, then probably it is. Okay, so yeah, I'll be back after I get this thing. Ah, there we go, I got it. Cool. Alright. That was a couple of tries, give or take. Didn't take too long, I think about like two minutes or so. If that. Alright. Off camera, I'll probably do these side quests just to get my level up a little bit before uh, the next video. But, you know, other than that. Uh, you found the rune skull? Hmm. Faster than I could have ever imagined. Prof uh, Professor Drake will be pleased with me. I told a few students to pick up death relics up the street. Now they're nowhere to be found. No doubt gabbing instead of working. Can you look uh, after the students on the slim chance... Slim chance that they, that something's happened to them. I'd start with the trolls. They look shifty. All right. Aren't the trolls this way? Yeah, the arrow's lying to me, man. Uh, I'm a little bit low on mana because it took me a while to collect that thing. So hopefully this doesn't take me all that long either. I don't know though. We'll see. Ah, we'll do fire cat. I haven't been fizzling as much recently, so that's good. That's a good sign, right? Or maybe it's not, or maybe it's hyping me up and I'm like, Ooh, I'll never fizzle, and then I'll fizzle like four times in a row. Well, that's a lie. I fizzled once during the Rune Skull collection. Yeah, Lumbering Troll's not too difficult. If I don't collect it, I'll just... Hey, let's go. Got it first try. What's this? Is this telling me he's low on mana? Oh, no. Discovered a badge. Okay, I don't really care about that. Molly Skywalker. What is this? A letter? How odd. Trolls can't read. By the handwriting, a Cyclops wrote this. They never dot their eyes. Uh, it's addressed to M, whoever that is. Malice there. I should take a look at it if students are in danger. Great fire bats! The Cyclopses have kidnapped the students! Good thing you found this. We must act immediately. Okay. 
Uh, I hope they are not going to blame me for those students getting themselves kidnapped. I know. I'll inform Professor Drake at once. He'll know what to do. When I tell him how those students got themselves kidnapped while well, I was on second thought, I think you should go tell him. I'll stay here and keep an eye on those Cyclops. Oh my god. This guy is a pussy, dude. Okay. Sturdy Blade. Come to me. I am just outside the Duel Arena on Unicorn Way. He's so scared of this Cyrus, man. Like, I'll tell him straight to his face, like, bro, some students got themselves kidnapped. I ain't scared of this professor, dude. Like, come at me. I need some better gear, man. I only have, like, 500 health. I could probably get better. What do you want? Professor Drake snares at the ransom note. Uh, here, take this message to Victor Darkwood, the robe shopkeeper. Be quick about it. Time is of the essence here. Bro. Why am I going to a robe shopkeeper? Like, bro. Unless he's got, like, some... Magical ability to unkidnap kids or turn back time. You lose anyways. Dude, this comment is like so filled for some reason. <laughs> I Maybe that's because I'm on a realm that's crowded. That's probably the case. Ah, a message from Professor Drake. Yes, yes, I've been expecting you. You'll need to hurry back with this. The shopkeeper retrieves a large sack and hands it to you. Here you go. I missed that whole dialogue. Hold on. Let me... Here, here you go. Uh, Professor Drake's laundry. F Bro. He really just had me fetch his laundry? Are you kidding me? What the hell? Oh, this guy, dude. This guy's a joke. This guy is straight up a joke. That certainly took you long enough. Actually, it didn't, but Professor Drake shakes his head at you. You're still worried about those missing students? Yes, well, this is definitely a problem. Take this message to the headmaster. That should resolve things to my satisfaction. Oh my god. What is the headmaster going to do? Isn't it your problem? Aren't you the one supervising the whole deal with the Cyclops and stuff? Like, how's that even going to help? Headmaster's gonna go over there and clean your mess up. I mean, I guess that's what's about to happen, so. Hey, man, I don't know, dude. Alright, let's see. Ah, Alejandro, it's good to see you. You have a note for me. Let's see it. The headmaster reads Professor Drake, Drake's note. I will not exp. You want to be expelled? I don't, I don't remember this. I will not expel you from the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts, regardless of what Professor Drake thinks of you. Well, I don't think very highly of him either, so, I mean... You are not responsible for the problems on Cyclops Lane. General Achilles and his men promised to drive out the trolls. Now Achilles has gone back on his word. I fear there is something more sinister behind Achilles' change of heart. This M is to blame. It's obviously Malastare. We need to know more. Uh, Drake is of no use here, but you have been most helpful. Go back to Nolan Storm Gate and help him straighten this out. Damn straight. I want to introduce you. Introduce yourself to Diego the Duel Master. He manages the arena. The arena is just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way on the right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll do that later. I just. That's because that's a side quest. Oh, wait, it is a main quest. Wait, what? It's a main quest? Weird. I do have a lot of main quests. <laughs> oh, really quickly, before I uh, for keep forgetting, I'm going to grab the shopping district uh, smith here. There we go. Uh, five resistant, two fire damage. Why is it on, like, the bottom half? I thought that was for jewels. Bottom half's for jewels, I thought... At least I thought that's what it was. Huh. Weird. Okay. It's weird. Very well. 
I just woke up, so I totally didn't just yawn. Don't worry about that. <laughs> oh, I did level up, so I got all my mana back. That's good. I need to buy some stuff that'll boost my mana. Alright, Nolan, I'm here to fix your problem. Because I'm, let's just say, I'm a better student than you. I wasn't expecting Professor Drake to leave everything to us. He must really trust me. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. I just don't think he cares. Professor Drake is expecting big things. The Cyclops General Achilles wrote the, the note, so we we need to reach his keep. Uh, but to do that, we need a gate pass, maybe. Can you steal one from the Warhorns? All you have to do is defeat some. Yeah, that should be easy enough. Oh my god, this guy. Oh boy. He's a character, isn't he? Uh, I guess you have to defeat the Warhorns. I think I remember these guys being slightly hard. But since my main is a storm, I probably just blasted through them. But now that I only have Fire Elf, it might take a little longer. What I need to do, actually, is I need to blacklist a couple of these those guys so I only get uh, spells in my hands for the most part. And I can just use the sparks like when I really need them. Instead, so. Okay. Let us... Fire Elf, your butthole. <laughs> uh, take some drinks of water. <clears throat> Soothe the throat out. Wait, Fire Elf is a base of 100? Huh. It's better than I remember, actually. I thought Fire Elf always had a base of 80. Well, maybe that's, like, really old. And they changed it recently. Or, like... Not recently, but like in the past year or two. So I always thought it was 80. Huh. Interesting. Now this is where like a minor flame would come in handy, right? Uh, fire cat. Okay. That's fine, I guess. I could heal, actually. But I feel like it might kind of be unnecessary. Wow, it didn't kill. Are you serious? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll pop a heal. Because he's, he's going to die from that. And then, let me see. I get my heal. Yeah. It does waste two mana, but I'd rather be full health, right? So. Oh, wow. I got it first try. Okay. Never, I don't have to cut the video. <laughs> well, this video's uh, going a lot quicker than I thought. I thought I'd, I'd take a while on collecting stuff and uh, the main quest. But it looks like uh, I misjudged that just a little bit. But honestly, having luck here really isn't that uh, great. Because that means I'm probably not going to get luck everywhere else. So... <laughs> And I'm not the type of guy who wants to spend my luck all in one street. Oh, well, that's a that's actually a really cool map. I've never seen that before. Huh. You got the pass? Great job. I'm glad I thought of that. With your magic and my brains, we make an unstoppable team. Well, I couldn't stand your brains, so sorry. Okay, here's my plan. Show your pass to the guards, Romulus, outside the keep at the end of the street, and he'll let you in. He's not too bright. Then you must challenge General Achilles in combat. Cyclopses are honor-bound. According to the Cyclops Code of Honor, he can't refuse to fight. Uh, see where I'm going? Even if someone tell is telling Achilles to hold the students hostage, once you defeat him in battle, he will be honor-bound to free them. All you have to do is beat him. Well, yeah, that doesn't sound like a small task at all. It sounds like a small task to me, right? Uh, okay. So, I'm thinking... I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> I'm like, I'm only level 6, and I don't know, I don't remember how hard this boss is, so... I'm a little scared, to be completely honest with you. I'm just a little scared. Do I have any treasure cards that could help? 
Not really. I could try and buy some more gear, but I don't know if that would uh, necessarily help me at all, so I don't know. We're just going to have to go with what we got, which meaning just the stuff on my deck. I mean, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably have to take out the minion first and probably use my heals a couple times, but... Uh, well, you don't look like a warhorn to me, but, uh, this pass looks good, so I guess you can go in. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Aha, you've been asked to enter a dungeon. To go inside, you'll need to stay on sigil. Yeah, okay, I already know how to enter sigils, man. Literally tells you. You hear a girl's voice to your left. Help us, please! We're held here by General Achilles! What? You are here to rescue these students? That I cannot allow. I am honor bound to keep them until I am told otherwise. But if you were to defeat me, I would be honor bound to free them for you. If you want their freedom, you will have to fight me for it. And mind you, as general, I will put up a good fight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I assume you will, so I, I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna get wrecked. Hold on. I don't like, I don't have that many, I don't have that much good gear. Like, I only have 500 health. I'm scared, dude. I think I'm about to, like, lose this thing. I think I gotta take out the minion first. He might be... I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh, he goes first, too. Wow, he has a lot of health. Whoa. Oh, jeez. I think I might die. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't think this is gonna go very well, but we'll see. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, a fire elf. I'll just try and get rid of the minion first. Oh my gosh! Watch him use like troll. Okay, the blood bat's fine. But the problem is, once I use fire elf, I have no pips to heal. So... Always does a base of 137. It's not going to kill him right away, though. I'd have to use a minor fire flare. And then I'm going to have to heal the next round. But I don't know if I'll even survive that long. Oh my god, he fizzled. That might have been the saving grace. But who knows. Oh, if this is a lightning bat, I'm... It's not. Please don't do max damage. It does max damage, of course, because I'm just that unlucky, right? I'm gonna have to get so lucky here. For me to win this, I have to get so lucky. Uses an ice spell? Huh. Okay. I guess I kinda got lucky. Is Pixie 100% accuracy? Because if I fizzled that, I would have been... I would have been dead for sure. Holy crap, dude. Okay, okay, okay. We might actually be able to do this, but I feel like he's gonna hit me really hard right now, so... I hope just a blood bat. But he does have the plus 25%, so... And that did max damage. Oh my... Well, I don't know if that was max damage, but... Definitely hurt. Uh, here's the debate. If I hit him with a fire cat, I could still heal next turn just in case. Well, I think that's what I'll do. Because what is he going to do? He's going to use Thunder Snake. Doesn't do exactly max damage, but it basically did. I use Fire Cat with a blade. It does that max damage. That's pretty nice. Okay. But I might, I'm might. i going to have to heal, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to heal. Because he's going to hit me again. With Fire Cat. Problem is, it just takes so much of my health. Because, like, I, I don't particularly have a lot of health. So, like...
I think I might still lose this. He used all three of his pips? How? There's nothing I can do. I think I lost this. And I think it's I think it's more than likely because I went sec second. Um, one thirty-seven. Wait, math, 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 math. It does like ninety. I put a fire cat on. If he doesn't kill me this turn, and I get the fire cat off, this might be that might have been the saving grace. Oh my god, he uses two pips. How much damage does this do? Oh my god. I didn't fizzle though. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you've defeated me, brave wizard. So I must honor your request to free the students. My master will be angry that I let them go, but I must obey the Cyclops' code of honor. Go now, they are free. Bro, that was the hardest battle I faced. Oh my god, that was so close. It was intense though, I'll, I'll give it that. Thank you for freeing us. We are starting to believe that no one was coming to help us. Thank goodness you showed up. No telling who would have come to rescue us. I thought at least Professor Drake would have come looking for us, but he didn't. Thank you for coming to our aid. Yeah, you can get imagine, right? And there they all go. Oh man, that was actually kind of difficult. <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. That uh, I should not have won that. I mean, granted, it was kind of luck that made me win that, but you know, it, I don't. Hey, man, I'm not gonna complain about luck. This street's been full of it. Usually, I get super unlucky with like collecting things and stuff, but this, man, this did just change that for the better, obviously. But like, you know, Jacob Lifeblade. I don't know why he's in uh, Cyclops thing. He looks like it's level like 40 at least. All right. All right, Dolan. Let's see what you have to say about that. Oh, sorry, fish. Let's see what you have to say about that. Let let me get this straight. The Cyclops are holding the students hostage in order to bring chaos to Wizard City, but who would make General Achilles do such a thing? Obviously, it's Malister. I'm sure Professor Drake could figure out who was behind this mess if he wanted to. Too bad he's always so busy. Yeah, with getting students to pick up his own laundry. Yeah, I'm sure he's so busy. Uh, we should tell the Headmaster how we saved the students, especially my plan to sneak you inside the keep. Still, I have to find those artifacts for Professor Drake. After th what happened, I shouldn't let anyone else do it. Would you go to t uh, go tell the Headmaster uh, what happened? Tell him how you were able to save them due to my brilliant planning. I'm sure he'll reward us both. Oh, come on. Your brilliant planning? Get a grip, dude. You didn't really do crap. So get out of here, man. Alright. Let's go to Merle. Quite a daring rescue. I'm glad that you were able to save the students. It bothers me that someone could force General Achilles into a sinister, sinister plot against Wizard City. I suspect that... M is Malastare himself. Thank you. It's obvious. It seems obvious that this is another one of Ma another of Malastare's plans to throw us off his trail. With all the wizard wizards busy here in Wizard City, Malastare feels free to carry out his ultimate plans. Hopefully, we can catch up to him before then. Uh, keep up the good work, Nolan. Uh, Nolan seems to have warmed to you. Perhaps Professor Drake isn't far behind. Oh uh, yeah, right. Uh, okay, this is just about the pets. I don't know. Oh, I'm level 7, aren't I? I am. Okay. So that's what we'll do. I need you to come uh, help me out with something. Could you talk to me, please? Okay. 
I'll I'll do most of the I'll do the side quest off camera, so I'll probably be like level. I'll probably raise some levels. Uh, probably raise some levels, a bit of levels. So hopefully that doesn't bother anybody. But uh, yeah, I just since I'm trying to solo everything, I'm, I'm gonna need to be a bit ahead of the curve. So doing side quests is a good way to get that done. Okay, introduction to fire. I see you're ready to learn pyromancy. If so, you'll need this bloodstone to summon the servants of the dragon. Thalmea hands you a small, perfectly cut bloodstone ruby. Go seek the ancient sanctuary known as the Dragon's Mouth, hidden in the cave behind Gollum Tower. When you find the fire within, hold the bloodstone tight and whisper the name of the creature you seek. Okay. Uh, Gollum Tower is... Uh, right after the fairgrounds, so it's over here. Golem Court. Also, while I'm here, uh, let's go ahead and grab the Common Smith, which is just right over here. And we, and then once we get in the Golem Tower, we will grab that Smith as well, or Golem Court, rather. Because, like, Prosper and Z quests are always good to do. They give you a decent amount of XP, usually, uh, and uh, a, training, a free training point if you do this quest. So, they're always really good to do. Alright. And then the dragon's mouth is right there. Okay. Dragon's Mouth Cave. You whispered the name Felide Pyronus. Okay. You hear your, your call and answer, Pyromancer. Oh, sorry. We hear your call and answer, Pyromancer. You may enter the dragon's mouth. Okay, usually that gate's not broken, but... You know. It's okay. Dragon's mouth. Ooh, this looks cool. In the dancing flames, you see a great battle. It is the War of the Titans. Uh, the sky is thick with a cloud of winged dragons. They hur they hurl themselves against the strong, vengeful giants of the sky, wicked tritons. Only one dragon remains. She is old and alone. For centuries uh, she slumbers. A shadow falls over her. It is a wizard, a figure with eyes of fire and a wicked scowl. The wizard turns, looks at you through the flames, and suddenly the vision is gone. So wait, I saw Malice there? Well, that's creepy. Does that mean he saw me, though? Because that's kind of creepy, is it not? Like, if he saw me through my vision, because didn't he look at me? Oh, man. That is that is kind of weird, actually. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's weird. All right. So my young student, what did you see in the fire of destiny? Professor Falmea looks deeply concerned. Oh my, it seems that Wizard City has a powerful enemy. You must practice your lessons immediately. Start with the fire spell. Wizard City may need all the protection it can get. Fire prism. Oh. Fire prism. That's it? Okay. Well, I don't need that right now. I'll keep those out of my deck. But I'm actually, I actually think I'm going to end this video off here. If you guys enjoyed, please hit the subscribe button down below. That much would be appreciated if you want to see some more content from me. That's how you do it. And uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video. And peace out. Bye-bye.